Hello everyone, I just want to let you know about a new Firefox extension that's called FireSheep and why it's a security risk and how you can work to, to protect yourself from it. Um, what FireSheep does is it does something in technical terms, it's called HTTP session hijacking, which is sometimes called sidejacking. And basically what it does is it takes your cookie, which basically tells a website, hey, I'm logged in and this is who I am. Um, it takes that and it allows someone else to use it. Uh, for example, I could sit on the wireless network and just sniff traffic and look for any of these cookies and then um, assign them to myself. And there's some screenshots down here on the site. And as I scroll down, so here's the, the plugin, and it just has a start capturing. And as it goes, you'll see that there's somebody that logged in with Google, somebody logged in with Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. And then all they have to do is double click on one of the names and now they are that person. It takes their cookie and basically the server has no way to tell the difference between the two people. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that for you. And since I can't demonstrate across computers, I'm going to do it here on the same computer. But I'm going to use two different browsers. Because uh, if you log in with one, one browser, it doesn't work on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on my own page. And I'm not logged in, so I've got Google Chrome here. And then I'll open up Firefox, and I am not logged in here either. So I'm, all I have to do is hit Start Capturing. Now if I go back to Chrome and log in, you'll see that I'm logged in now. And I can do everything that I normally can. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go back to Firefox, and you'll see, hey, Michael Irwin with Facebook here. Again, I'll refresh to prove I'm not logged in now. And all I have to do is double click. Now I'm logged in. And so I can do anything to this account. I can go, I can go into the privacy settings, I can change my password, I can change the emails, I can do anything I want to this account. It's as if I were the original owner of this. Now this works for anybody. Um, so if I'm just sitting here on the network and if the network's not encrypted, I can easily get anybody's cookie and log in and do whatever. Now this works for Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Amazon.com, Foursquare, uh, WordPress, all kinds of sites. Um, that's just the beginning of the list. Actually here's, I can give you the full list right here. So Cisco, CNET, Dropbox, Evernote, Facebook, Flickr, um, and a lot of these sites, New York Times, Twitter, Yahoo. Um, so a lot of different websites and I'm sure that list is only going to grow. There is an add button already there. Um, so what can you do to protect yourself? Um, it's a good question. Um, first of all, make sure that any network that you're on is secured. Um, if, if you have an, an option to be on Ethernet, go for that. But if you're on wireless, make sure you're on a, an encrypted network. Um, you know, if you're sitting in a coffee shop, that, chances are I can get your cookie. Um, I can log in. So you just really need to be careful where you're logging in. Um, let's see, what else can you do? Um, just make sure that everything you do is being encrypted. And I guess you're probably wondering why this is even possible. Doesn't Facebook protect my password when I send it? Well, yes, it does. Um, it does protect your password right when you send it. But once you're logged in, it, it doesn't do the SSL anymore. And the SSL is the secure connection. So once you're in, anybody can take your cookie. Now, so obviously this is a big security concern, and I just want you to know that. Um, so be careful where you're logging in, because anybody can get access to your account.